<laughs> Let go! It's mine! Let go! Cease! Give it back! Cease! Give it back! I said cease! Hercules commands you. Hercules? Oh, please, great Hercules, he stole my staff. Gods do not steal, even young ones. What's your name? Mars. Mars? Mars, the future god of war. God of war? I have seen the future. Yes, god of war, unfortunately. War? And I am Saturn. Ah, Saturn, the future god of nature. God of nature? I could think of nothing better, O oh great Hercules. Your nature is sweet, Saturn. You love to create beautiful things. Yes, yes, I do. While you, young Mars, want nothing more than to destroy them. Yes! Yeah! Destroy everything! Ah, uh, so I've noticed. You will learn that to be a god of war carries a terrible responsibility, Mars. War must only be a means of making peace when there's no other way. War should never destroy. It should create harmony. But I hate harmony. Oh, you have much to learn, Mars. I was once young myself, and I was an even more hot-headed young god than you. I had to learn to control my passions and my wildness, just as you will have to control yours, my friend. I have nothing to show you. Saturn, you already have the power to restore what Mars has rashly destroyed. Stay here and learn how to use it. But I don't know how. Ah, yes you do, my boy. Oh, yes you do. Come, my young warrior. But first, give the staff back to Saturn.
It is you, but much younger. True, I old for a god, Mars. You for many, many years, I was a mortal on Earth. I became a god only when I was old. But how could you become a god, Great Hercules? It is impossible for a mortal to be... My father was Zeus. Zeus, the father of the gods! Yes, and my mother was Alcmene, the most beautiful mortal woman on Earth. You see, Mars, I chose to be a mortal, to be a man, because I found the greatest gift of all, human love. It was a decision that would cause me great joy and great pain. Look, they're in the past. It's where my story begins. Turned to my city of Thebes after hunting stag in the forest. To my horror, I found that all of the men had been murdered, and the women and children all gone. Hercules should die for making such a curse immediately. Uh, but your own son? Oh, no, no, uh, perhaps not. Uh, what about a lesser sentence? Yes, yes, Hera. He's not a full mortal, and that does make a difference. Half man, half god, the same rules don't fully apply. Besides, he wants to become immortal, like us. Um, 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 if I could interview... Hercules chose to live the life of a mortal on Earth, and now he has the cheek to want to become a god? Even if he were my own son, I would still say he dies. No, no, he should not die. I say we should uh, forgive him. Oh, that's the godly thing to do. Forgive him? He must be punished! Apollo, god of prophecy, what lies before my son? Life or death, man or god? 
Judging by the ascendancy of his moon and the position of Uranus when he was born, I would say... I would say... Uh, I, I'm sorry, what was the question? <clears throat> uh, excuse me, um, if I could intervene uh, just for a moment to say... Perhaps an ocean journey would do Hercules the world of good. Oh, he could sail forever. Oh, no harm would come to him. Ridiculous. I'll send harm his way for speaking as he has um, to us. If I could intervene for a moment just to say that I was Poseidon. I say death to Hercules. Oh, I could arrange a quick flood to drown him. Oh, I'm not the mother of Earth for nothing, you know. All right, Nemesis, god of intervention. Of all things, what's your view? Uh, I think I should intervene here. Um, I believe that Queen Hera should decide his fate. Oh, she has been calm when you have all been angry. Neither is she related to Hercules. Her decision will be just and fair. An excellent idea, Nemesis. I curse you all again and again! Make me immortal! Very well, Hera. It's decided. Hercules' fate is in your hands. Oh, I'm honored, great Zeus. If Hercules wants to be a god like us, then he must prove he is worthy. We could set him many labors, or, or, or a quest. Yes, a quest. A quest? Yes, exactly. Um, tell him he must go to his half-brother Eurystheus, king of Tyrus. There, he will learn of his quest. Yes, let a mortal king set this quest. Hmm, the labors they will prove. How I wish I had never become a man. The mortal pain of loss is too much to bear. Hercules, father. Yes, it is I, Zeus. I was wrong to become a mortal father. No, you were wrong to serve the gods for it. Yes, father. The council of the gods has decided, Hercules, that to become a god, you must first prove that you are worthy. Worthy? Yes, worthy. I command you to go to Eurythius. Where you will learn a quest. A quest? Only if you succeed in this quest will you be permitted to become a god. Now go. Do as I command. But father, my not father, you read hates me. Father? You had a half-brother, Great Hercules? Yes, Mars. He was born minutes before me, and became king of Tyrans because of it. I was meant to be king, you see. Hera, queen of the heavens, stopped me being born first. She hated me, even before my birth. What happened with your quest, Hercules? I went to Tyrans to see Eurythius, of course.
would it be, boy, but your favorite hearer, Queen of the Heavens? Uh, of course! How silly! <laughs> how can I serve you, O Queen? It's more how you can serve yourself, Eurethius. I've come to warn you that the loathsome Hercules is coming. What? Here? T to Tyrans? Yes, he has angered the gods, not least of all me. And now he wants to be a god himself. Oh, I couldn't stand it. He must be stopped, Eurethius. I agree, but how? Oh, that's easy. The gods, with a little help from me, have ordered you to give him a quest. If he succeeds, Zeus plans to grant his will to make him immortal. Never! Quite so, but if Hercules fails, well, we can both be rid of him forever, dear boy. No Hercules on Earth, no Hercules in Heaven, no Hercules. <laughs> Impressive reading, Eurethius. The evil secrets of the ancients, or how to get rid of an enemy in one easy, uh, impossible quest. What do you think? Uh, Hercules must drink the oceans of the world dry, uh, count all the stars and die, uh, extinguish the sun, uh, slay the nine headed Hydra. Mm, the Hydra. I think. Oh, that's impossibly impossible enough. <laughs> it can't be killed, of course. Oh, isn't that divine? Divine! <laughs> and just to make it even more impossible, make him bring back one of the Hydra's heads. Oh, yes. Can't cut them off. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> oh, Hera, no wonder you're queen of the heavens. Oh, and I'll throw a few more obstacles in his way as well. From above. Thank you, Queen Hera. Oh, think nothing of it, dear boy. Good luck, Eurethius. I'll be watching. didn't 
do something to assist your mortal son, did you, Zeus? They're not a thing, Kira. I know better than to intervene in the fate of men. My name is Hercules, and mine is Ulysses. You saved my life, Hercules. How can I repay you? Lend me your knife, Ulysses. I have need to skin a rather large cat. See, Hercules? The city of Tyrants. Ah, Tyrants. My fate lies there, Ulysses. To be set a quest. Perhaps I might join you on this quest, Hercules. Maybe very dangerous, Ulysses. It will only be half as dangerous if there are two of us to share it. <laughs> That's how you got your cloak, Great Hercules. Ah, yes, but it was no ordinary lion. Its coat was made of metal. Tree, mend thyself. No, that's not it. Rock, reform! No, no. No knife could ever pierce it. If I'd not thought of using the tree as a club, I would have died. I was starting to think Mars. Assault for that miserable bag of stale nuts? Wait, 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 stale? You calling my nuts stale? And that's only the ones I can see. The rest are probably rotten. Quarter of a bushel of salt for a lot, not a single grain more. Quarter of a bushel? Oh, look. Ah! Calm down, I'm only haggling with you. All right then, half a bushel of salt. No, look, it's a, it's a lion. Do not be afraid, good people of Tyrants. This is Hercules, who killed a ferocious lion in the nearby mountains and took its skin. Hey, wait, wait, wait. Was it a huge lion? About this high? Uh, three times as long as this? It was exactly as you say, good citizens. This man, Hercules, has slaughtered Cacus, the terror of the mountains. We can all travel safely again. Three cheers for Hercules. Hip hip tell you just how delighted I am to see you after all this time, Hercules. I was sent by my father, Zeus, and the Council of the Gods. You have a quest for me, Eurytheus, my brother? A quest? Do I? A quest, uh, of course. Now I remember. It came to me in a dream. A strange voice told me that Hercules was to slay the Hydra before he could become a god. Make any sense to you, my brother? Slay the Hydra? That's impossible, Hercules. It cannot be killed. Oh, yes. One more thing. Slay the Hydra and bring one of its heads back to me for proof. It's all coming back to me now. Almost seems real. Hmm. Real enough to be an evil idea from Hera, Queen of the Heavens. Queen Hera? Uh, Queen of the Heavens? How could you think such a thing? Hmm. It is clear. Slay the Hydra. Bring back one of its heads. It is my quest. If that is the will of the gods to prove I am worthy, then so be it. I will leave you now, Eurytheus. With your permission, I'll take four men of Tyrans to guide and assist me in my quest. As you wish. But you're not really going to try and do it, are you, Hercules? It was just a silly voice in a very silly dream. It was not a dream, and you know it, my brother. I leave now on my quest. I will either return from it or die. Ulysses? Helena, I'd like you to meet your uncle Hercules and his young friend, Ulysses. They're just leaving, on a journey. 
Gentlemen, my daughter, Princess Helena. I'm very pleased to meet you. Not as pleased as I am to meet you, Your Highness. I will escort you both to the palace gates, if you like. We would be delighted to have your company, Princess. Come, we must depart at once for Lerna. I bid you farewell, Eurythius. Hmm. Not farewell, Hercules. Goodbye. Forever. <laughs> I took with me four men of Tyrans, Herodotus the wise ancient mariner, Jason the spear thrower, and two sailors, Iago and Phoebus, and of course Ulysses. I will love Hercules. Ah, Princess Elena, I thought as much. We should pull into the shore. The great swamps are close to here. We must cross them to reach the home of the Hydra. The marshlands are full of danger, Hercules. You may stay with the boat if you wish, Ulysses. You were prepared to die for me, Hercules. I would die for you. We are friends in life and in death. Keep up, men. The sooner we cross the swamplands, the better. Hmm. Won't be a moment too soon for me. This swamp smells worse than rotten eggs. More like dead camels, I'd say. Phoebus, what's a dead camel smell like? Smells like this swamp, Jason. Really? Ugh. Here, man. So far, so good, Hercules. Hercules, look! Stymphalian birds, Hercules! Guardians of the swamp! I have never believed the legend. The legend says they can hear beyond the horizon. They must have heard our sounds. Stymphalian birds, huh? I have heard of these creatures. They say they're almost as dangerous as the Hydra. Their feathers are said to be leather, and their beaks able to pierce metal armor. Quickly, take shelter, men! Give me your cloak and your... 
For the gods, I did not. I learned much from that moment, Mars. Whereas I was prepared to fight the creatures with brute strength, Ulysses fought them with the sheer power of his mind. Without his help, my strength would have been nothing. the evil swamp, we found ourselves in the deep ravine of Diomedes. Then, finally, after our long and dangerous journey, the men and I arrived at the ice lake of Lerna, home of the nine-headed Hydra. At last, I was to face my true destiny, despite what Hera had tried to place in my path. Serpent of the Ice Lake. It is I, Hercules, come to slay you. Rise and meet me. Rise, Hydra, and show yourself. Surely you do not fear a mere mortal man. <laughs> You're afraid, is that it? Shall I go back into the world and tell all people that the mighty Hydra hid like a worm when Hercules challenged it?
again and again, Ulysses showed me what I had failed to learn. Head, head always before heart. Without his help, I would never have overcome the Hydra. Never Mars. That is the truth of it. You can hardly blame any of us, Earl, here, Queen of the Heavens. Oh, yes, I can. Someone put that thought into the mind of Ulysses. I just know someone helped. Intervened. Someone intervened. Nemesis, the goddess of intervention, you did it! Uh, yes, Queen Hera, I did it. I was only doing my job, intervening. Intervening? Wah! Sticking your nose in where it was not wanted, more like it. How could you? Silence! I have a solution. Hera, you may set Hercules one more task. Nemesis, I forbid you to intervene this time. Hercules must act on his own. As you wish, O Zeus, father of the gods. Hag of the heavens. Not fit to be queen, hey, Hercules? Well, in that case, dear boy, you're not fit to live. How long until we arrive at Tyrion's Herodotus? Two days. Hercules, the whole city is in ruins. The city has suffered the same fate as my home of Thebes. Quickly, Hercules, we must go to the palace. Princess Helena. No men of Tyrants have been spared. Not even the king. They've taken Princess Helena! The mark! I saw that same sign on my own door. That is the mark of death, Hercules. I have seen it before. This is the work of the murderous Ellis army. From the city of Ellis? Then we must go there at once! And we will make them pay for the murder of so many! There! Hercules! The city of Ellis! I was wiser now. I had learned much from my quest. I would conquer the city of Ellis not by brute force as in my past, but by using the power of my mind as Ulysses had taught me. Shepard! We come from Thebes and Tyrans, seeking our wives and children. My name is Hercules. Have you seen anything strange? Uh, I have seen nothing myself, but I have heard certain things from others. Come, boy. We won't harm you. What did you hear? I am told there are many prisoners in the dungeons of Ellis, and that the sounds of children crying can be heard in the night. Prisoners? Children crying? What else did you hear? That Ellis is full of soldiers home from the conquests, and there are cattle in the city, hundreds of them. Cattle? Stolen from the people of Thebes and Tyrans, no doubt. Come, men. We'll take shelter and wait for nightfall. I have a plan. Thank <laughs> you. 
Because you are more intelligent than the other two? Yes. I am the most intelligent of the three of us, by far. He means the most stupid! The most stupid? How dare you? I agree. You are stupid. Almost as stupid as you. I'm not. Yes, you are. Just like you. of the gods. It is clear that my son has earned the right to become a god like us. Yeah. Unless anyone disagrees, I will inform him oh. of our decision. What say you, Hera, Queen of the Heavens? <laughs> Odd is it not, Mars, but after all of my labors in my quest to become a god, at the end of it, I chose to remain a mortal man, because I had found the priceless gift of human love again, and because I had learned to think, not fight, create, not destroy. And I had learned that strength was nothing without knowledge. You understand, don't you, Mars? Tree, become whole. Rock, become one! Yes! Yes, I've done it! Do you understand, Mars? Yes, great Hercules. I understand. Now. And that is my story ended. I stayed on Earth with my family for many, many years until my beloved Deanira passed on. And then I became what I am now. A god. An old, old god. But a very wise one. <laughs>